Here's a feature on Mr. Vincent Montgomery Griffith, a local craftsman in New Amsterdam. Would you believe if I told you that these trees are of more value than we think? When you look at them, you might think of leaves, the big trunk, and the shade it provides from the scorching sun. But, for once, did you ever consider turning them into vision art? 68-year-old Vincent Montgomery Griffith of New Amsterdam, who is commonly called Tanaman, has been using his skill to create wooden sculptures. She called it vision art because it's not something that I'm seeing and I'm doing. It's in my vision and I'm doing. Now these works here, it's like the wood. The wood is over 200 and something years to 300 years old. And the wood is from on the back dam. It's trees that falling in the back dam. I happen to get from the council and the region. And I just bring out the works because it seems like the art died in New Amsterdam. So I want to raise it again. I get all the wood there ready. I ready to teach the people this work. You understand? But I can't do it alone. I gotta get help. Griffith has been doing this for almost 40 years. A skill which he credits to his friend for teaching him. I started this work in 83, 1983. And where did you learn this skill from? From a brother named Fibert Grimond. Right, and we is who create the things on Main Street in George Town. Is we create the, the selling and the art business out there in those years. His everyday sculpting tools include more than just a mallet and a chisel. Uh, we, we call this we call this a spoon gouge, right? And we call this a wrong gouge, right? We use a spoke shave. This is a Stanley spoke shave. And then we got some riffles. This is riffles, some fine rasp. We got square chisel. Different size, but it's only these I bring out. You got about four or five different size. This is a bigger size of the wrong gouge. I got a couple, you got a couple well of this though, four or five of them. I have the V gouge. The V gouge, most important. This really do all of these from the start. The hatchet. This is another important man. Hatchet. He bring. He breaks down fast. But you gotta know the work to use this to break down fast. Other than that, you gotta use chisel. The rust. Wrong rust. Yeah, this is to bring it to shape. When you carve it. You use this to, to shape them before you sand. Because if you, when you don't carve and you sand, there's not enough work. So you gotta use this. Right? Because when you don't, when you don't do the work, it come like this. It come like this. This is how rough it be. You know? So you got to get the ras for bringing it all wrong here, so. You get the rust and you bring it wrong. This all here, you bring it wrong. And then you use the sun people. Each sculpture requires time and precision, but also a lot of patience and effort. The big pieces far more easier than these fine pieces. These here delicate and it takes more time than the big pieces. The big pieces you see you get more room. And when it gets more bigger, you could use chainsaw, more quick and more easy. After sculpting, several other steps must be carried out prior to the final polishing. This way, finish rasp. Okay, so what else has to be done on this? Yeah, I got to use, um, you know, the dremel. A dremel used use for sanding. Yeah, so when you sand and clean out all of there, then you really find sand in with the fine the sandpaper. And then when you finish with the sandpaper, you put like um, something in sanding sealer. Something like a polish. So when you rub on the sanding sealer and it's soaking, you have to sand it again till it gets smooth. And put on another coat to the finish. And when it, you put on the other coat to the finish now, it becomes like this when you finish. Though these steps look like they can be done quickly, it requires quite a lot of work. Like this, 
I have it like um, a two full day. Two full, 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 full day. You got to work day and night. Because bringing out is one day to, to day and something, and the other day is sandpaper and cleaning and them thing. So, average, uh, this PC is supposed to cost like $10,000. Because uh, you got to say a construction man work for like $6,000 a day. And this is construction work. <laughs> Inside? Now, if I take in two days to make this, I'm looking for 4,000 or 5,000 or 6,000. It's like I'm giving it away. You know? But remember, this, I make it, I could do what I feel like. I could even say, look, this, take this. They don't have big money, you know? The love for art seems to be dying since these sculptures are not in demand now as they were years ago when Griffith started. The man related that this is now something that he enjoys doing. Really, I don't sell the works. It comes like a hobby to me now. Seeing that I in the country, I just sit down and make works. And they got a, uh, they got a art shop in Georgetown by the post office. They got two young couple, right? They said they love the works. And they, put, they purchased one two times for me. But I just got to go down and carry the works to them. They don't come with it. So it's like when I make one, two works and things, I show them. They might say, well, bring this one, bring the one, and when they're going in town for something, then I carry. Because I can't pay for a $1,000 return for come Jato and carry two pieces of cars, $5,000. Right? These wooden sculptures are sold at affordable prices. Well, you gotta say the works is priceless. People cannot pay for the works. But you could get $3,000, $5,000, whatever, whatever. It's just a, it's just a negotiation. Aside from his hobby, Griffith loves to cultivate biennial and perennial crops. I really just be in um, Guyana and the U.S., but I choose here for stay more since the COVID time I ain't going away. Cause I got a lot of things here. I well, try to set up long tennis court, basketball court, boxing. I get all the equipment, but I ain't getting no help. Putting coconut trees in the yard, planting canes, and planting fruit trees. I got, um, I got a place at the end uh, from like 52 to 56. There's why planting and I, I am setting up things there for the youths. For anyone interested in patronizing Griffith, you can contact him on 690-5440. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.